Hi guys, and welcome to today's task. For today's task, we are starting in on those pesky tree rings and flower beds. A few years ago, I planted these sycamores and I didn't ever want to have the grass growing up against the roots. One, because the roots will eventually come through the grass and I'll be hitting those with my lawnmower blade. And two, the look of a tree ring just kind of guarantees that tree its protected space. So this tree ring hasn't been touched in almost a year. We're gonna take our tree ring from looking like this to looking like this. Perfectly round, tilled up, and these are the tools we're going to use. One, a wheelbarrow, which you're gonna have a lot of grass and weed you're gonna to have to get out of there. You're gonna need a small, somewhat leaf rake, a set of hand pruners, because there are roots if it's next to a tree. I like using a pitchfork. This is a small, I don't know the true name of this, but it is a type of a hoe, but it's kind of a cutter, cuts underneath. And then you do need this square nose spade that I've used for cutting sod and I've shown it in other videos. Also, you will need a piece of rope. And I will link in the description all of the tools that I'm using so you guys can find them. I try to find them as the cheapest price I can for you. So if you're gonna order them, go ahead and use those links. A few things to note when it comes to starting to cut around this tree is you need to know what's underneath you. We're not going that deep, so I most likely won't touch any of my sprinkler lines, but I do have this nighttime lighting that I have, and the wire is not very deep. It's actually very shallow in this lawn, so I know where it runs. I just need to make sure I'm aware of it and where it comes in. It's gonna come in somewhere this way. It continues from that tree out to my shed. So I just need to be careful when I'm cutting through this area. You don't want to go to town on it and just hammer through some wire that you got to replace later on. So to get started, I'm going to grab my rope, wrap it around my tree. And I have seen people in the past just do a loop here and then try to pivot, but this doesn't always turn as well. So I find it easier if you make it come all the way around the shovel again and then pivot. I get it to about the length I want it to be. Now, both these tree rings are not identical, but they're close enough that it's okay. Tie a small knot here so that it doesn't come undone. And now we start cutting. And it's really simple. Something you really need to pay attention to is because this can't go back any further, but you can change the depth by pivoting it. So make sure you keep it as square as possible. I'm gonna cut into my existing ring line about an inch so it's just nice and fresh. And I'm only going down deep enough just to cut through the grass. Now that we've cut everything around, go ahead and untie your tie down or rope or whatever you've got. And we're done with that for this project. I'm gonna work from the outside in on this tree ring. I know I could go through and weed all this right now, but we're gonna to get to that eventually. I wanna show my existing tree line as best I can and work through that. That way I can just chuck all this stuff over here and we'll clean it all up at the same time. So I'll take my blade that's flat now, get underneath that line, and it should just come right up. So as you can see, we have that perfect circle kind of now that we can work with in. One thing you do want to be careful with is where your foot placement is. Either step on this grass or step here. Try to not touch that line because that will cave and it just doesn't look as nice. You want to keep that sharp angle all the way around it. So try to not step right on your tree line. Now I'm just going to clear out all this debris so it's out of my way. I know some purists would take the time to clean all this out, but this is grass roots. You're not going to get much soil out of there and it probably won't be worth your time but I will shake some of these weeds off. I would say that I'm officially done with this tool for this project for the day. So we're gonna set this one aside and grab our next one. The next tool we're gonna to use is a spading fork. So it's not as wide um, and small tined as a pitchfork. This is actually meant to be pried on and against. These are thick tines and they're strong. They're meant to get underneath your weeds and I'll show you how. So once again, I'm keeping in mind that I do have electrical line running through here, so I'm not gonna to go too deep, but I don't need to. I just wanna get underneath this piece of grass, pry on it a little bit, pull it up, Get underneath it some more, pull it up, and there's some more, pull it up. And now we can shake it out a little bit, salvage some of that dirt, and that weed is gone. And we've pulled the root ball out with it. And just work your way around doing the rest.
give them a good shake, put them in. And you really don't have to go that deep. Just deep enough to get underneath those grass roots, shake them out just a little bit and get them up and in there. And I am keeping these on hand because I know I've got some little roots that I'm going to want to cut. And these are my junky ones, cut with the junky blades. Sometimes just loosening the soil makes it so you can grab the weeds and they'll come right out, root and all. Makes it real nice. So if you were to just get a tool for weeding your gardens, this is the one you want. All right, you guys, we had a really bum situation happen with my footage, the file of me weeding all of this and explaining all the steps that I did, even though there weren't really any more from what you've already seen. Um, is corrupted and so I had to redo it, but I can't redo it because they're already weeded. So as you can tell, I finished up the entire tree ring with that spade fork and we actually are treating this tree for a fungus that is growing on it. And both of my tree rings are done. And I'm really excited about the way they turned out because they're prepped and ready for the entire summertime and for the rest of the patio and yard to look amazing. You guys, I spend a lot of time in my yard every year working on it because it's a hobby that I really enjoy and because I want it to look nice so when people come over or when the kids are playing out in the yard, it's a nice yard to look at for them and for myself as well. If you guys like today's video, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, subscribe and definitely comment down below about what you do for your ed edging or weeding or what practices you like to use. I know there are a million tips and tricks and little tools that people like to use, so mention them in the comments section. And if you're interested in any of the tools that I used, I will leave them in the description down below and we'll see you guys next time. Oh, little girl, if mom sees you sitting your bum on her pillow, she's gonna be so mad. Identically, er, a few things to note. Now, a few things to note. So now you can see that we have that good circle. Which way do I wanna go? I don't know if this actually has like a spading fork. Sorry.